everybody, it's Kim O'Rourke. I'm the Recycling Coordinator for the City of Middletown and welcome to Recreation Recycles. Today it is April 22nd, Happy Earth Day. We are celebrating by doing a little cleaning. It's April 2021, so it's a good time to do some spring cleaning. And while we're cleaning, we're going to be um, checking out some homemade uh, cleaners that we can make because they can be safer than ones that you can buy in the store. So you do want to be careful when you're purchasing cleaners in the store because sometimes they can have health effects. They can be harmful to our health, they can be harmful to the environment, and they can be harmful to pets. So cleaners, um, depending on what they have inside them, they can cause several health um, problems, such as asthma, skin conditions, uh, toxicity to animals, um, reproductive harm, um, things that you may not really uh, feel right away, but down the road they could show up. So it's important to read the labels and make a determination as to whether you want to use them or, or not. And, uh, and it, it may be limit your, your use. So um, there's, a, unfortunately, there's not a requirement for companies to list all the ingredients that they're putting into these items, but there are signal words that you can look for that will give you an idea as to how harmful they are. So for instance, if it says poison, that is the most dangerous and it's best to stay away from that if you uh, if you can try it's highly toxic and best not to use that the other ones are danger and that's the next level it's extremely flammable and corrosive and highly toxic as well but not quite as toxic as poison and then warning which is uh, moderately hazardous again best to stay away from it if you can but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not as bad as the poison one. And the least dangerous is caution. So those, uh, if you have a choice, it's better to go with a product that says caution. Now, any products that have these um, signal words on them, if you are getting rid, rid of them and need to dispose of them, they should be brought to a household hazardous waste day to be disposed of proper, properly if you didn't use them all up. If it's an empty container, it can go in the trash or the recycling, but if it still has um, product in it that you're not using and you don't want to finish, then you should bring it to one of those collection days. So um, obviously we, we may not be able to stay away from products that have these signal words all the time. We, uh, so if you have to use them or you want to use them, read the label so that you use them properly. And it, that does make a big difference. Don't just go and use it as you think it should because the label will tell you a lot. Um, and it will ensure that you're using it as safely as possible. Now, uh, you can look to purchase safer alternatives and I highly recommend this. Um, you wanna be careful again because there is a lot of greenwashing out there just because a product says that it's green or eco-friendly doesn't mean that it necessarily is. And it's best to look for some third-party certifications, and this is one that is um, certified by the EPA. They have this Safe Choice logo on it. So if a product went through their testing and uh, evaluation and was determined to be safer, then it'll have this logo on it. And there's a few different ones, but that's one that's uh, put out by the EPA. Now, there's also products that we can make at home from safer ingredients. And I say safer because um, all these ingredients, or a lot of these ingredients, have some sort of toxicity to them, um, some more than others. But the ones we're going to make today, they're, uh, they're, they, they are safer. And they usually they could they use items like uh, vinegar and baking soda and lemon and this Castile soap or dish soap. Um, sometimes if you want to put in a scent, we have essential oils. So I'm going to make a couple different ones. The first one is going to be an all-purpose cleaner. 
and this is just a um, a cleaner, an everyday cleaner that we're going to make. So I'm going to start with a bottle and I'm just going to put a teaspoon. Now I'm going to follow these recipes and these will be available. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of liquid soap and I'm not going to measure it, but it calls for a teaspoon. Get that in there. Okay, and then it calls for a splash of vinegar. So we're going to put a splash of vinegar. And the vinegar can add a um, disinfecting part to, to it. And they do have different recipes, some with a natural disinfectant and some without. This one does have a little bit of vinegar in it. And then it calls for distilled water. Oh, I need my funnel still. So warm water. So I'm gonna pour that right in there. Okay, and there we go. I'm gonna shake it up. And that's all it is. It's super simple. And then I am good to do some cleaning. And this will last me a while, actually. There you go. Okay, so that's our all-purpose cleaner. The next one, this was one of my favorites. We're going to use do a surface scrub. And this one, I'm going to put a little bit of baking soda in here. And this one I don't really have uh, measurements on, but I've used it quite a bit. And uh, you can eyeball it because you've got to get a paste. So I'm going to take the, baste, the baking soda, I'm going to put a little bit of the Castile soap in, and then a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. And this is something, it's safer than bleach, but it still has a warning on it. So you still want to be careful. And then I am just going to mix it up. Oh, I might need a little bit more liquid. And it's going to be a paste. Which is actually kind of cool. And then I would use this it's to scrub like around drains or you can scrub your sink, um, your faucets. I often use a toothbrush and I will rub it that way. And it works. We use that a lot. Okay, and then the last one I'm gonna, uh, the last one I actually wanna mention is the uh, toilet bowl cleaner. And that one is just baking soda and vinegar. And if you put that in the bowl, and then it, when you put it in, it'll fizz up, and then you can let it set a little bit, and then scrub it with your scrubber. That will clean the toilet bowl safely, and it's kind of fun. Now, I would recommend uh, never using baking soda and vinegar like as a cleaner in a jar, because it does fizz up, and it could explode. So, don't do that. So those are some ideas, super easy, um, inexpensive, and they get the job done. Now we are in uh, 2021 and it is, uh, it, we're still, still dealing with COVID. So I know people are probably concerned with disinfecting. Um, usually when, when you're home, you're gonna be cleaning and you can use a regular all-purpose cleaner without a disinfectant. But if you do wanna use a natural disinfectant, there are different options. And like I said, you can use the hydrogen peroxide and there are recipes for that. Or you can use rubbing alcohol um, or lemon also has disinfecting qualities and uh, vodka. So if you have any of that around, uh, that does work. 
Um, so I'm going to uh, have on our website a safer cleaning recipes for people who are interested in doing it themselves and it gives some further information about safe cleaners and what to think about and some of the uh, things of not to do. Now I do recommend when you're cleaning to use a microfiber cloth as opposed to a sponge. A sponge can have uh, germs in it and the cloth you can easily just throw in the laundry and um, use it over and over again. So I hope that's helpful in your spring cleaning this year. Thanks for watching and don't forget to reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink your waste and happy Earth Day.